Shall I start? Shall I start? Yes, sir. Is it audible yes, now sir. clearly? Yes, sir. Okay. The problem is like this. A mild steel bar of 200 mm long, 60 mm width and 80 mm depth. As soon as you read this first part, you should draw the sketch. A mild steel bar. Two hundred mm long, this is length, length is equal to two hundred mm. 200 mm long, 60 mm width, this is 60 mm width, 80 mm depth, this is 80 mm depth, this is 80 mm depth, this region here to here, this is width. Okay, is subjected to an axial compressive force of 72 kilo Newton. Is subjected to only uh, this axial compressive, this subjected to, as in the statement, axial compressive force. Of 72 kilo that is the first part 72 kilo newton 72 kilo newton determine the value of the lateral forces necessary to prevent any transfer strain also find the alteration or change in length so what is st state says determine the value of lateral forces necessary to prevent any transfer strain if there is no transfer strain, if epsilon y f is equal to epsilon z is equal to zero, what should be this loading? Isn't it when there is a compression, when there is a compression happening along this width dimension on depth dimension, there is an increase in dimension. Isn't it when you push, when you push this, the width also increases, the depth also increases for the strain to be zero. For the strain to be zero, I need to avoid this uh, increase in dimension by applying a compressive force. By compressive force, are you able to visualize this? When I'm pushing, to, when I'm pushing this, there's an increase in depth. In order to prevent this increase in depth, I should apply a compressive force P Y like this. P Y if I call P Y if I call, I should apply a compressive force P Y like this. Also, meanwhile, there's an incre increase in depth. Also, I should apply P Z and P Z like this. This is the compressive force I am applying it. This is the first part of the problem. So, so what are these forces here? What are these forces should be for in order to avoid this lateral strain to be zero? There is no lateral lateral uh, increase in dimension. Okay, there is no transfer strain. Okay, also find the alteration or change in length. It also asks us to find delta L. Okay. Now, this is the given problem. He has given young smaller c, young smaller c is equal to 2 into 10 per 5 newton per mm square. Poisson's ratio nu, which is equal to 0 0.25. Generally, I write Poisson's ratio as nu. Arthur, some local author cite it as 1 by nu. 1 by nu as same as nu, not nu. 1 by nu as same as nu, not m is equal to nu. At that, you should understand. 1 by nu, they will take. Uh, 1 by nu is equal to my nu. This is generally we use new. Okay. Now, this is the given problem. Now, as usual, 
I will find stress in x direction. Stress in x direction sigma x is equal to p by a or I can write sigma x which is equal to p is minus 72 into 10 power 3 area uh, as given length this area of cross section I should take this area of cross section this area of cross section I should take area it is nothing but 80 into 60 length is 200 depth is 80 width is 60 mm can you tell me what is sigma x What is sigma x? Minus 15 MPA. Minus 15 MPA. Right along with the sign minus minus 15 Newton per mm square. Okay. And then I can write sigma y stress in y direction. Stress in y direction. Sigma y. This is compressive stress minus P divided by this area of cross section I should take. This is nothing but my 200 into with 60. 200 into 60. Is this clear how I am taking the area of cross section? You should not make mistake regarding this. Okay, can you tell me sigma y is equal to? I will be expressing this as minus uh, PY 6 to 12, 12 into 10 power 3. Similarly, stress in z direction, sigma z, which is also compressive, if I write minus p y, minus p z into this is acting on area 200 into this depth 80 mm into 80 or sigma z which is equal to minus p z into a to the 16 16 into 10 power 3 okay next we can write we can write um Epsilon x, epsilon x is equal to sigma x by e minus new times sigma y by e minus new times sigma z by e. Okay, this is the first equation. Let it be since I want epsilon change in length, it is nothing but epsilon x is equal to dl by l. Okay, if I know I know epsilon x is multiplied by l, I will be getting change in length dl. Until that, I don't know my epsilon this one change in length. you cannot directly take epsilon x is equal to dl by l there is all other uh, forces also contributing to change in length. we should mind that we should remember that okay next epsilon y epsilon y which is equal to sigma y by e minus new times sigma x by e minus new times sigma z by e which is equal to sigma y sigma y which is nothing but minus p y into p p y minus p y by 12 into 10 power 3 minus of sorry minus p y into 10 power 3 when uh, by i should take e common 1 by 2 into 10 power 5 right 2 into 10 power 5 2 into 10 power 5 into sigma y sigma y it's uh, minus p y into minus p y by 12 into 10 power 3 minus of Poisson's ratio 
Poisson ratio it's uh, 0 0.25 0 0.25 into sigma x it's minus 15 minus 0 0.25 into minus 15 right 0 0.25 into minus 15 sigma z minus pz into 16 10 power 3 minus of 0 0.25 into minus pz thereby 16 into 10 power 3 or I can write is equal to 1 by 2 into 10 power 5 minus py by 12 into 10 power 3 plus 15 into 0.25 plus 0 0.25 pz by 16 into 10 power 3 since lateral okay let me write epsilon z also let epsilon z also okay a moment sigma y by e minus p y okay then okay give me a moment Okay, let us like this only we'll see. Sigma z, epsilon z, which is equal to sigma z by e minus new times sigma x by e minus new times sigma y by e sigma z by e sigma z by e it's uh, minus pz into 16 10 power 3 minus pz by 16 into 10 power 3 minus of 0 0.25 so i'll take okay. it is equal to 1 by 2 into 10 power 5 into much minus minus py divided by sorry minus pz divided by minus pz divided by 16 into 10 power 3 minus of 0 0.25 0 0.25 into uh, sigma x it's minus 15 minus 15 minus of 0.25 sigma y it's a minus py minus p into minus py divided by 12 into 10 power 3 hope this is right minus p sigma z is minus pz into 10 power 3 sigma x is uh, minus 15 into 10 power 3 minus 0.25 into minus 15 sigma z it's minus pz into 16 into minus pz sorry sigma y minus py into 10 power, minus py into 10 power and 10 power 3 or i can write epsilon z epsilon z which is equal to 1 by 2 into 10 power 5 into minus pz divided by 16 into 10 power 3 16 into 10 power 3 plus 0.25 into 15 plus py plus 0.25 py divided by 12 into 10 power 3 okay now 
now we know that we know that since since lateral strains has to be zero that is epsilon y is equal to epsilon z is equal to zero i can write epsilon y i'll write like this epsilon y it is given by this is zero this has to be zero multiply 2 into 10 power 5 this is zero shall i write um minus p okay minus p y minus p y 12 into 10 power 3 plus 0.25 p z 0.25 p z by 16 into 10 power 3 is equal to minus of 15 into 0.25 somebody tell me what is this 15 into 0.25 next p z e epsilon z is also equal to 0 e epsilon z is also equal to 0 which is given by uh, 0.25 okay 0.25 py in by 12 in 10 power 3 0.25 py by 12 into 10 power 3 minus pz into 16 into 10 power 3 Spz by 16 into 10 power 3, which is equal to, which is equal to minus 0.25 into 15 minus 0.25. Sorry, minus 0.25 into 15. Can you solve this simultaneous equation? You can solve this. This will become this will. Uh, you can solve 0.25 by p y into 10 to the into Tell me the value. Or you can solve in the calculator. Tell me what is the value of p y and p z. Therefore, p y is equal to p z is equal to. Are you solving it? Raghavendra? Yes, sir. Madi? Yes, sir. Check whether I have taken the sense properly. We should get... Uh, tell me... You take in the calculator. Go to the equation, uh, two equation, simultaneous equation, substitute there. You know that, right? You know that, right? Guttalva? Do you know that? Equation, three equations will solve, and then two equations will solve. If you go to shift four, I think. I don't recall that. Give me a moment, I'll take my calculator. Are you calculating? Do you know yes, how to cal uh, calculate money?
और इस पे वाई वही सोलॉन्ग सेमल्टेनियस इक्वेशन कैलकुलेटेड गो टू मोड फाइव इक्वेशन नंबर वन ओके सब्सिड द वैल्यूज माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व इंटू शिफ्ट टेन यू कैन टेक ब्रैकेट इफ यू वॉन्ट Minus you can type directly minus one divided by twelve into shift ten power three. First value. No no no. It is taking some other value. Minus eighty three point point three. Bralla. It's wrong. Let me take brackets. Minus one divided by twelve into shift ten power three. Minus eighteen to ten power three five point two five divided by sixteen into shift ten power three is equal to minus fifteen into point two five point two five divided by twelve into shift Ten power three minus one divided by, or you can take sixteen in one sixteen into shift ten power three minus point two five into fifteen is equal to. वन इन दी वर एक्स इज 60 किलो न्यूटन पी वाई इज 60 किलो न्यूटन एंड पी जेड इज 80 किलो न्यूटन राइट आर यू गेटिंग इट आर यू गेटिंग दिस आई गॉट इट पी वाई व्हिच इज इक्वल टू 60 राइट 60 फॉलोड बाय थ्री जीरोस पी जेड 80 फॉलोड बाय थ्री जीरोस 80 किलो न्यूटन मार दे ना 60 किलो न्यूटन यस सर राइट यू गॉट इट राइट सेम आंसर यू गॉट इट राइट दैट मींस ओके पी बाय 60 किलो न्यूटन कंप्रेशन पी जेड 80 किलो न्यूटन कंप्रेशन ओके नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट दिस हैज टू बी कंप्रेशन यू शुड इंक्लूड द सेम यू शुड इंक्लूड द इंक्लूड द सेम माइनस बिकॉज़ दिस वी हैव अप्लाइड द लोड कंप्रेसिव दिस शुड बी कंप्रेसिव ओनली दिस इज कंप्रेसिव लोडिंग यू इंडिकेट इट इन ऑर्डर टू अवॉइड कंफ्यूजन माइनस 60 किलो न्यूटन Minus eighty. Okay. Next. Ah, uh, next. Uh, what we should do? Ah, uh, we should should calculate the change in length. For that, we will go to this expression epsilon x sigma x by e minus new. Or I will calculate here sigma x, which is nothing but minus fifteen into ten power three. Sigma y, sigma y, sigma y. Which is equal to, since I have written here minus p y, uh, that's confusion. Always that's the confusion remains the same. But no need to worry. Minus p y, that is the. Uh, I'll we'll, we'll indicate later. Minus p y equal to
eighty kilometer. Go here. Minus sixty. Minus sixty into ten power three by twelve into ten power three. This uh, twelve into ten power three. This ten power three. Ten power three cancels. This is uh, how much? Twelve five twelve. Twelve five is a how much? Twelve five is sixty minus five newton per mm square, right? Isn't it? Twelve five is sixty. Twelve five is a sixty, right? Yes, sir. Land five is a fifty five. Twelve five is a sixty. Okay. Is it is a eighty kilonewton minus eighty into ten power three by sixteen into ten power three? This is equal to minus Five newton per mm square. The local ether has done in the different way. You will write sigma y is equal to sigma z, and you will get the same minus pi m p. Okay. After getting this, we can directly go. We got uh, sigma y sigma z. Okay. We we'll substitute in epsilon x. Epsilon x, which is equal to I'll write it here. Sigma x. Sigma x is how much? Sigma x is minus fifteen m p a. Minus fifteen m p a. Give me a moment. Five, five minutes. Sigma x. Sigma x is minus fifteen m p a. One by two into ten power five. Minus fifteen. Minus point two five into. This is point two five. Point two five into minus five. Point two five into minus five. Minus of point two five into minus five. Can you tell me what is epsilon x? Epsilon x is equal to. Tell me this value. One by two into ten per five minus fifteen minus this into this. Tell me this value. Minus six point two five into ten power minus five. Minus six point two five into ten power minus five. Epsilon x is equal to delta L by L, or which is equal to minus six point two five into ten power minus. Okay, I'll write here. Sorry. Epsilon x, which is equal to uh, delta L by L, which is equal to minus six point two five into ten power minus five into length. Length is given as two hundred mm. Two hundred into two hundred, which is equal to delta L. Can you tell me what is delta L? Minus zero point zero one two five. Yes, minus zero point zero one two five mm. Length since is a compressive. Yes, since is a compressive loading. Length as decreased by. Minus zero point zero one two five mm. This carries ten to twelve months. Okay. By this, I have completed one more problem left. Tomorrow, I will come try to come complete this problem also. Okay. Any doubts you can ask me. Okay.
any doubts you can ask me any doubts no sir no i'll uh, one more uh, typical problem sir that i'll complete in tomorrow's class we will wind up the class for today's class any doubts anybody let me take the screenshot only nine students are present today okay shall i stop stop at this point shall i stop at this yes, point sir. okay thank yes, you sir. yes sir